free throw line. Up by 10 with under four to play. Pump fake, a drive and a dish, a shooting A for the dunk, but for Rossin. <laughs> but pulls up, short, well skies for the board. Stuck back in by Ickpies. Three quarters of the way gone here in the first half. Nice bounce and a shooting. He put it Welch with the assist. Comes up with a loose ball. Welch lost the dribble for a moment. Inside, oh, shooting once again. I don't have to run that one down. He didn't. Johnson, and now Bonaventure gets that light we were talking about. Inside the shooting, a, he throws down the dunk and asks. Nice fake and a dump off in the dunk. Eventually get the job at Mount St. Mary's. Couple of NCAA tournament appearances and then turn around the Siena program. A shooting. Here it's going. Deep ball keeping the Dukes in it. Lofton penetrates. Oh, shooting. Give the chip. Tip no good by President and rebounded by Oshun. Oh, you're going to say rebounded by Oshun. You're going to say shot blocked by Oshun. You're going to say go by Oshun. <laughs> National centers that Hofstra has gone after under Coach Joe Mahalik. Ponudis with the basketball up top, not at English. Inside of Ponudis, Oshuniyi double pump, sham, bam, bullet. Let's see if they try and get some buckets in transition as we see Antoine Portley checking in for the first time. Portley played 16 minutes against St. Louis. They're hoping to increase his workload in this game. Kyle Rose has checked in for the first time, the 6'3 guard for the Rams. Oshuni ripping at the Rams. Oh, turnover, let's go. Wide open, Oshuni inside. Great look from England. on the team, listed as a guard, but 6'5", so athletic. And a beautiful entry pass. You've got to be one right? I mean, well, especially since Davidson lost two really good offensive players in Frampton and Pritchett early in the season. Those guys were probably the best passers and spacers on this team, but also great alternate offensive players. Locked in, locks it up, and will shoot, able to collect it. And... Minus 2 nothing lead. Here's Lofton for a floater in the lane. Bounces off the rim. No good. Oshuniyi with a putback. How about Close to a sellout here as they try to see if the bodies can go to 10 and 3 in the Atlantic 10. Got off to a slow start this season, but that was because of some injuries, and they've really picked it up now to be one of the top teams in the conference. Immediately they go right down into Oshuniyi. It's just the thing is, on that possession, it wasn't pretty, 
but all five spiders got a touch. Good pace early on as Richmond off and running. Oshuno Shuni with his second back. <laughs> bit better he had surgery the following day and I was in the gym when it happened and you've been around ACL injuries and you know how devastating they are long term but real pain that day Oshuni lays it in just cut off by Ingram and now handling is Welch Dominic Welch the sophomore throws off to the right corner it's held there by Lofton Lofton hooks a pass right of the lane catch see LaSalle get back quickly and not celebrate that field goal because Bonaventure was looking for an easy transition basket. Loft in, guarded by Beatty. Looking to drive, pulls up. This is a Sunier for the easy dunk. Man. Nice fake and a dump off in the dunk. <laughs> week that never happens that, you know the record was <laughs> one and now they shattered they broke it. it lofton loses the handle momentarily gets it back welch on the wing welch goes to work drops it down to oshun gets over his heart after he let that one go and it was way off I'm not sure if Winston got him on that left elbow. Yeah, got away with it. If not, it's just really hurting him. Oh, shoot! Off the way. to play in the ball game here in Olean, New York, home of the Bonnie St. Bonaventure looking to pull into a tie in the conference standings with Richmond as they would get their 10th conference victory, pushing their record to 10 and 4 if they can get it. And that's a nice way. <laughs> Excellent pass by Sincere Carey to get them going. Three sophomore guards will handle the ball quite a bit for St. Bonaventure. Lofton Welch and Jaron English. This is Kyle Lofton. Leads the Atlantic 10 in assists. Two of his last three games, though, has him scored a bucket in the first half. Inside to Oshuniyi. And he's one for one. It counts as a big one to get his team back to within two. Sincere Carey is so physical. Just a sophomore. And Lofton all the way in, inside to Oshuniyi, easy finish. 